Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can I get a Go Eagles to get started? You know, tonight my only job was to keep the rain off, so I got this little window here. To be able to be here tonight, not only coming from myself, from our city council, our city staff, but our community, all our residents, everybody, to just be here in honor and and congratulate our Milton Eagles. What a great, what a great night. So thank you guys for being here. Yeah. I also have the privilege of, of presenting a proclamation to our to our to the program. But before I do, I want to introduce a few folks here. Um, I've got with our city council, Milton City Council, I got uh, Matt Kuntz here, Peyton Jamison, Laura Bentley. I've got our state representative Chuck Martin who's here. Uh, our Fulton County Commission Vice Chair, Bob Ellis. Where's Bob? Right here. Um, got uh, State Senator Brandon Beaches here. One of the neat things watching your season this year was just seeing the excitement build throughout the whole community. And obviously the, the game, the uh, winning game was, was accumulation of all that and all your hard work. But I just want to let you know that we from the community saw all the passion and the hard work. and brought everybody together so it was really an exciting season so with that it's an honor to present this proclamation I'm gonna read it real quick here so tonight from the city of Milton I've got a proclamation for the Milton High School Eagle football state championship day and whereas the Milton High School Eagles first football team started playing in 1951 and whereas the Milton Eagles were led by coach Adam Clark who was coaching Milton High School for his second season. And whereas, as the late Vince Lombardi said, football is a great deal like life in that it teaches that work, sacrifice, perseverance, competition, drive, selflessness, and respect for authority is the price that each and every one of us must pay to achieve any goal that is worthwhile. And whereas, in the 2018 Georgia High School Association regular season, the Milton Eagles had a record of eight wins and two losses and went 5-0 in region play to qualify as a Class 7A region top-seeded team. And whereas, the Milton Eagles defeated South Gwinnett 28-19, Mill Creek 24-3, Hillgrove 20-19, and Lowndes 28-17, to qualify for the state championship game for the first time in school history. And whereas, the Milton Eagles defeated Colquitt County 14 to 13 to win the state championship at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium on Wednesday, December 12, 2018. And I wanna give get a big shout out to all the fans. I was at the game and when you looked around and saw all the all the, the all the fans that were there, it was awesome. So thank you guys for being there. And whereas the players on the Milton High School State Championship winning football team are champions not only in the field, but also in the classroom, in the community, and in life. We are proud that this great team is located in Milton, Georgia. Now therefore, we, the mayor, the city council of the city of Milton, hereby dictate and proclaim Thursday, December 20th, 2018, as Milton High School Eagles State Championship Day. In the city of Milton, Georgia, 
and this is given under my hand and the seal of the city of Milton, Georgia, on the 20th day of December 2018. And if I could get uh, our athletic director Sly and uh, Coach Clack to come up here, I will present this proclamation. Oh, yeah. 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 And a big congratulations to the Milton Eagles. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna ask uh, our state representative Chuck Martin, who is not only an alumni but a former Mil Milton Eagles football player, to say a few words. Hey, good afternoon. Isn't it fun to be an Eagle today? <laughs> Guys, Center Beach came up and said, "You got to be proud." proud today. I said, I didn't play a down all year, but I tell you what, I'm downright proud of you guys uh, for what you did. I want to do this quick. Um, I, I talked to the governor, the governor-elect today, uh, Brian Kemp, and, and uh, he wasn't able to be here. He's down in South Georgia. That, you know, they, they had some pretty bad storms. I'm going to ask y'all to keep praying for our neighbors down there. Um, it was really tough, some life-changing moments down there, but he, he sent some words that I want to read, and then I want to share a couple personal notes with you, if you'll bear with me. Uh, I promise I'll try to be be quick. Um, Governor Lake Kemp, on behalf of our team at the Capitol and our fellow Georgians, I want to offer congratulations to everyone at Milton High School, including the players, the students, the teachers, trainers, and every supporter for winning the 2018 Georgia 7A State Football Championship. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> Governor-elect goes on to say, we know it takes determination, hours of training, sacrifice, tenaciousness, grit to come together as a team and, and to become the best in the state. It is wonderful to see the result of your hard work, how you came together as a winning team and reached such a landmark accomplishment. We are proud of the entire Milton team and everyone involved in helping Milton accomplish such a great success this year. We look forward to a special celebration down at the Capitol with Governor-elect Brian Kemp and the Milton High School team at uh, the Capitol early in 2018. So that's an invitation that I, I'd like to extend to the coach um, to bring you guys down along with Senator Beach, uh, Pro Tem Jan Jones, and, and uh, Governor-elect Kemp. We'd love to have you down in January. So um, I thank the governor for doing that. If you'll allow me just one minute of personal privilege. <sighs> I knew I was going to do it. Come on, Chuck, 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 Every Chuck, time Chuck. I walk down on that campus, even though it's new and I never went there, it brings back memories for me. Uh, not about what I did there or, or, or me playing there. It brings back memories of me and my family. My dad did a lot uh, for us around there. So I want you guys and, and ladies that were involved in this program today. Y'all did a lot and we're here to celebrate you, but on your way home tonight or somewhere over this holiday season, you remember how many times your mom and dad and aunt and uncle, your older brother or sister or somebody, dragged you around to youth football or to weightlifting or your buddy came to pick you up because you didn't win this because you run fit to stop their run right or you adjusted from cover three to cover two. Those things everybody can do. Your coaches taught you how to do that. You won this thing because you counted on each other and you had a community behind you. And without you guys to bond together and bring this community together, you would have never had the opportunity to do that. I, I had the opportunity a long time ago to be a little piece of a national championship team at Georgia. And I tell you, those guys I've never lost touch with. Never let, lose touch with your teammates here tonight. Some of them will go on to play ball next year. Some of them will just go on in life. But you've got a moment here. Go home and thank people and do something that I wish I had done in 1980. Take a minute and write how you feel this weekend, how you felt that night on the 12th of December, 2018, because 40 years from now, you're going to wonder, and you're going to want to remember it. It's a great achievement. I'm proud to be an Eagle. It's great to be an Eagle tonight. Thank you. So I'm going to be very brief. I want to, number one, I want to thank our awesome student body. So I tell anyone that I talk to about being principal at Milton High School that it's the best job I've ever had. I go to work with a smile on my face every day. 
and I truly love being in that building and interacting with these awesome students every day. I also want to say that this fall began with some other sports starting to set the bar for what football ended up finishing. So we talk about the accomplishments that happened last Wednesday, but I would be remiss to not say that we had co-ed cheer, finish runner-up, we had our girls cross country team finish fourth in the state, and then we had our girls volleyball team make the final game and lose, but finish runner-up to Marietta. So it was a great accomplishment. Or to Walton, sorry. I don't like saying that name. But that being said, to have the fall finish the way it did and to watch our students, our community come out to the bends and support these young men and these coaches, and then to see them be able to hold that trophy up, knowing all the hard work that was put in and all the, the hours and sweat and, and blood that they left on that field throughout the school year is a pretty amazing accomplishment, and I'm glad I could watch it and participate in it. So I thank you guys for everything. I thank you guys for being the best community in the state, if not the nation. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll be brief as well. I want to thank Eagle Nation all tonight, rising up, rising up in the bends. That was amazing. Coach Clack and staff and players are proud of them. I'll just say one quick thing. It won't rain this parade. We rained on Colca's parade. Amen? Yeah. I may not be as brief. Uh, I, I just wanted to share uh, kind of the, the some of the backstory behind some of the things you see. Um, you know, the Embrace the Dream t-shirts that, that I see people wear. You know, what does that mean? Um, you know, that started, that really started in the summer with our leadership meetings and, and with the collective vision of these guys here uh, as they talked about really buying in and, and everybody pulling in the same direction for one common goal. And, and honestly, the dream wasn't necessarily the state championship. Uh, that, that's the byproduct of a dream. Uh, their, their dream was to play their best possible football, to be the best possible version of themselves uh, working together. Uh, and, and we do that through another acronym you'll see, and that's BET. You know, B-E-T, Brotherhood. We're a band of brothers, and we, 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 we promote team over me. Uh, e is the relentless effort that we were talking about uh, uh, earlier, and, and the effort that these guys put in, uh, if you maybe heard me talk about it, we, we measure practice, uh, and every day we're trying to get 1% better. 77 practices, there's ups and downs. Uh, we chart it, we look at it. We had 33 straight to finish the season. 33 straight 1% or better days that these young men were able to do and these coaches were able to push them through. That, that's special. It's hard to have four in a row. They did 33 straight, and that's why they went on a 10-game winning streak that ultimately culminated at the Mercedes-Benz against those Packers. And then the T is the toughness, and that, that's their perseverance. Uh, the one thing I would say that separated us from every team in the, in the state I don't know that we were the best collection of individual players. I'm sure you can find other teams that, that have more stars by their names and more, more size in, 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 you know, in their metrics and their measurements. But you ain't going to find one team that believed in each other more than these guys. Yeah. There was never one time that our fingers pointed. There was never one time that our heads dropped. And I love these boys for that. That's unbelievable. So, yeah, clap it up for them right there. <laughs> unbelievable. Those things come together and special things happen, and this is special. And that brings me to you guys. We always talk about, and I believe this in my heart, and the reason I've dedicated my life to, to, the, to the sport of football is because there is no team sport like it. It's second to none to build men, but it also builds and drives community. And to see you guys rally around these guys, to see the, the, the alumni come back, to see the old players come back, to see the community and the businesses and everybody rally behind these guys is something truly special. This is the week that keeps on giving. This is maybe the best part of the whole thing. And you know, had signing day yesterday and just everything about it. I keep pinching myself and I'll keep doing that until January 8th when we got to get to work for 2019. So here we go. I want to I want to bring up uh, our quarterback. He wants to say a few words. Jordan Yates. Yeah. Jacket. Oh, 
Uh, we just want to thank everybody for not only coming out tonight, but all season. You guys showed amazing support, especially last week in the game. I mean, we had a crazy home foot advantage, not even our home stadium. But um, thanks for everybody who believed in us. I and mean, We dropped a couple early. Not everybody expected us to be here, but uh, I believe y'all truly believed in us, and so do we. And, um, yeah, just thank you. Yeah. And now I'm going to pass it to JD, inside linebacker. Uh, kind of just piggybacking off of what he said, I just want to thank you guys for coming out and being in our corner all season. Like he said, we lost too early, and it could have been really easy for you guys to jump off the bandwagon, but you guys never lost faith in us. Just like we never lost faith in each other and in these coaches and the community and the people that surround us and put us in the position that we were in to uh, make history. So we want to thank y'all for sticking behind us, and uh, this championship was for everybody. That's why we brought it back. That's why we're here tonight celebrating for each other. I just want to thank y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pass it to my boy, Jordan Cox. Everybody, I just want to thank y'all again for coming out. It means a whole lot. Like, we had, I think, 12,000 people on the stage Ben Stadium. That's insane. We filled up the entire lower bowl. The entire lower bowl, guys. Without you guys, who knows what would have happened. All right. This might get a little crazy. <laughs> Last thing before I pass it back to Mayor Lockwood, um, we talked in, in, in my interview two years ago, and, and they wanted 15 minutes to outline the plan. I don't think I kept it to 15 minutes. Uh, but, but number one was alignment, alignment with our, with our administration. And I will tell you right now, you will never find a tighter group, a more aligned group than what we have at Milton High School, starting with Brian Jones, going to, to Coach Sly, to myself. Number two was had to have great coaches. Got to have great coaches. The best thing I can do as a head coach is surround these men with great men. And, and, and they helped me build the best staff in the freaking country. And these, those men are amazing. Ha absolutely. Wrap it up for those guys. The third piece is the players, and, and, and we gotta, we got to develop them, we got to mold them, they've got to buy in, they've got to believe, we've got to train them up, we got to teach them up, and we, we, we most certainly pour our heart and soul into that. But the fourth piece and the fun piece it was the community. And once we get the community bought into what we're doing, Milton is going to put everybody in this country on notice because yes, it is a place that needs to be on notice from East Coast to West Coast. It's so unbelievable seeing you guys rally behind us. Once again, thank you so very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Coach Clark. You know, being mayor of this awesome city, a lot of times I get asked, what are you most proud of? And we can all look around. We can look at our beautiful city hall. We can look at our beautiful fire trucks and our police cars out there. We can look at our parks. We can look at all the programs that we have. But what I'm really most proud of is our sense of community and have seen it grow over the last 13 years. And with that being said, I want to thank our community that's out here supporting our Milton Eagles. You're what makes it great. So thank you so much. I'll send them. <laughs> <laughs> 